Asteroid City, the latest film for Wes Anderson. It's an absolute delight. Now, I get Wes Anderson is not a director for everybody. He's definitely one of those directors that's an acquired taste. People either really like him or he's not their thing. And I totally get both sides of that. His films are very unconventional. You have to be in a very specific mood for them. Obviously, if Wes Anderson isn't your thing, this movie isn't going to change your mind. It's very much his style. It's very much his quirkiness. But as somebody who appreciates his films, I found this delightful. Now, this isn't really a plot-driven film per se. There is some plot, but it doesn't really kick in until about the second half. It is definitely more of a character-driven film. Most of the film is just spending time with these absurd characters who are in these absurd situations, but they all play it so straight, like it's completely normal. And that is part of the charm of this film. It has an absolutely fantastic cast playing all these wacky characters. Their line delivery and the script are incredibly quick. The visual humor and dialogue are smart. The film really rewards you for paying attention. And man, this is one of the most well-made movies I've seen this year. The cinematography and effects are all fantastic, and the film does a phenomenal job of transporting you to this other time, the time of the 1950s. If you're a fan of the game Fallout 4 and stuff like that, you'll probably really love this film, and it really goes hard with the 1950s aesthetic, complete with practical effects. And the practical effects are just cheap enough to make it feel like a B-movie from the 50s, which was awesome. And the film also just has a ton of just random bizarre humor that's delivered so sharply. Honestly, this is one of the best movies I have seen this year, and I want to reward it for its originality and for being a film that the director and the actors clearly put passion into and had fun making. But what holds it back is that even though the script is surprisingly relatively clean, I think there was only like one mild curse word the entire time, which was refreshing because a lot of PG-13 movies now really try to see how far they can push the language, it seems. This is a relatively clean script dialogue-wise, but there are, unfortunately, a couple of scenes of sexual content that honestly kind of push the PG-13 rating, and there wasn't really any reason for them to be in there. There isn't a character reason or plot reason for them to be in there. They're just there because Wes Anderson wanted an excuse to get Scarlett Johansson naked. So if that scene weren't in there, perfect day, 10 out of 10 movie. But unfortunately, because of that, I am docking points for it. I get that for some of you, that might be a silly to pick, but that's just my personal taste. I don't think it needed to be in there. It felt gratuitous. That being said, that aside, it is a shame that this movie is a smaller release and had very little marketing because its originality deserves to be rewarded. Hopefully, come Oscar season, this gets a lot of Oscar nominations, so people will actually watch it and go, okay, I'm going to watch all the best picture films because I want to seem like I know what I'm talking about with film. Oh, Asteroid City, I remember that coming out. I didn't get a chance to see it. Oh, this is a delight. So, yeah, hopefully award season rolls around, this gets more traction because it's an absurd, quirky, original, delightful film. I give it a B, 8 out of 10, 4 out of 5 stars, and like I said, it's only that low because of the unneeded sexual content if it worked in there. This would be an A, so if that's not an issue for you, then by all means go see it. I'm just putting it in there as a warning because that might be an issue for some people, but I just found this movie an absolute delight. Go see it.